Welcome to York Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new trailer from the infamous Apex Legends. This is the new Resurrection launch trailer. Now, I'm pretty sure they're going to be revealing some Revenant stuff in this one. I'm really stoked. I play Revenant a lot. He's a really fun legend to play. And I've been waiting on this kind of rebuff and this new kind of launch. So, also, if you are new to my channel, I'm a game developer as well. I do animation for a living. I've worked on some really cool games over the years like Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption 2. Some really cool stuff. So, Hopefully I can give a really unique breakdown to this trailer. We can talk about some cool things you don't see in another video, huh? So let's dive in and let's take a look, shall we? Oh, we got here. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Dang. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, see? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. Can help. But why the secrecy? They've got enough on their hands with Warlock. This will only complicate things. I see. This. Demonio's eye. He's involved somehow. Huh. And I That's Revenant's eyeball. Getting hurt. Can you do your thing with it? My uh -huh. thing? Oversimplification. Yeah, hack into it, buddy. Wow. You're not dying today. You're not dying ever. Oh! If Let's see some of this backstory. Leave her alone. I can make it happen. So oh, trippy. Knock, knock. I just finished decrypting the drive. But the information is incomplete. Sorry, man. Oh man, Maggie, she's just awesome. Before we could pull the whole file, can't remember why. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Thought you were. Oh. See, he's not able to use it, huh? It's like having flashbacks. It's the code for safety protocol. Hammond. They use it on transporters that move important cool. assets. Hammond. Oh, nice. Maybe they're chasing the same thing. Crazy dogs. What asset is so important that Duardo and Hammond are playing hot potato with it across the Outlands? Maybe the asset is the hint. It's Revenant. Revenant's the asset. Yep. Wow, look at this. I know what that place was. A Revenant factory. Whoa. No Revenants. So the asset... Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, crazy. Look at him tweaking out. Whoa! He's like short circuiting. It was gone. I made sure. Apparently this trailer is sure awesome. Psyop did a great job. Oh. oh. Look at this. Is that going to be his new face? What the heck? You don't want your own personal miracle? Or not having one myself? Huh. Whoa! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Look at this. Whoa! Oh man, the internal punishment that this guy must go through. But it seemed to have traveled a lot. There we go. Uh oh. Uh crypto? Nice, that was a cool camera angle. Found it on Salvo, and I was handling it. Same with this Hello, one. This poor lone wolf jang and cute. Here he comes. I don't like this. We need that kid. My way's still available. Find Duardo. Start punching. Ask who Start punching. Way. If Duardo wants Revenant, it ain't for good reason. Gotta get the head and cut Duardo off <laughs> this at the This is pass. awesome. Thanks, Crypto. Can't wait to do a little breakdown on this. Oh. Here he comes. Oh. What is happening to me? Whoa, there's his new look. Nice. Okay. Hold on, it says the gameplay trailer reveal is gonna be in the next couple days. Awesome. So stay tuned for that. I will be definitely checking out that video and I'll be giving a breakdown on that for sure. So come back to the channel if you want to check that out. 
But let's break this down, shall we? Let's dive in. Now, if you guys don't know this, um, the company that's behind this is called PSYOP, and they do a whole bunch of animation work for different companies, and they've done a lot of great stuff for Apex Legends. Like, they did the 16, you know, season 16 launch trailer. They did all kinds of them. Like, if you look through their kind of page here, um, they've done some great animation work. So if you are new to kind of that aspect of it, a lot of times EA and Respawn will hire out these other developers and these other people that can do animation. And then these people will come in and use the characters and do animation for it. A lot of times um, that's what I do in my, um, in my field. So I will um, a lot of times use a character. Like when I used to work at Halon Entertainment, we would do this. We would do, make trailers for Fortnite and all kinds of stuff. So it's a common practice for companies to kind of do that. Um, just thought I'd break that down for you and let you know. So PSYOP is the one who kind of created this whole trailer. Now, let me slow-mo this. Let's break this down. One thing that's cool is they're showing off the really nice quickness of octane he's one of the fun he's one of the really fun you know legends to play in this whole field because he's got that really quick movement and so it's cool to show that off a bit and in this animation you can tell that like they've done a lot of good work in here right so they've the the company that's behind this psyop um you can tell does really good animation work and it's because of all the other stuff they've done right this this company's done it for a long time now, one thing that I thought was interesting is right here, let me go a little slower, is when Revenant kind of pulls, he does his his Q, his tactical here. What's cool is they really show it off. In the game, you don't really see it that well. And right here, you can really see his hand kind of get pulled back and his fingers reach all the way back and grab this like little grenade device thing and fling it. I mean, look at his fingers. <laughs> They're really broken and stuff, but it doesn't matter. It That's what he's he's able to do. I mean, if you just saw in that, that trailer, he contorts and, you know, freaks out. He's not like a human whatsoever. So he can move in unnatural ways, basically. Pretty cool. And if you see right here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, there's a swipe. See this? This looks really nice across the screen here, over here on top of my head. It... Phew, they're doing a nice swipe there. They're adding um, literally a painted effect. It looks like they even went like this and added in some paint, swiped it through, you know, in Photoshop or whatever, just for this frame. It's cool, good animation work. It's nice to see stuff like that. The little trails of it kind of coming behind. <clears throat> now, Gibby um, is a cool legend too, but nobody's been playing him lately. You know, he, except in like the really late game type of stuff and the competitions and all that, people will be playing Gibby. But I haven't. I don't play him. He feels too slow. He doesn't feel. Uh, I don't know. I like a faster legend for sure. It's cool to see this little spot right here. Him coming up and just rah, grabbing him and <laughs> pretty awesome. The animation looked really neat there too. There's not a lot of stuff that I want to critique or give feedback on for animation work in here because it's already really good. Right, I don't need to kind of step. A lot of times, I will give feedback on different animations that I see on my channel, but this one's great. I like most of the stuff I see in here. It looks really, really good. Same thing once again. Okay, I'm pointing out the good animation because it's well done. Like when he dangles her over this ledge, you can feel like the hips come and then the legs come and the you know all that stuff feels really good. The overlap on the animation. Like if any animators out there. Uh, that are watching this know what I'm talking about. Pretty cool. And then seeing him in this moment, not being able to use this is, is kind of interesting because it, to me, it means they're taking that ability away probably in the, in the game. You know, I, I play him a lot and it's really cool to save your whole team and be able to come back to life basically with this totem and to not be able to do that is interesting. I wonder what they're going to replace it with, what each ability is going to kind of come in and, and replace each one. Because right now, um, his tactical, that thing that shoots out that little grenade, it's so weak. It only does like 10 damage or something when you hit someone. And it, that needs to be buffed and changed for sure. This is cool to see Horizon fly up and just take him out. Boom. We're kind of getting a glimpse of all these like flashbacks, which is kind of cool. I love that. Loving what they're showing here. Good old Loba. She comes in. Loba's one of my favorite legends. This is a really cool idea in this trailer is that they're using the eyeball as a as a camera 
So the whole time you're seeing kind of through Revenant's eye right now, that's cool. I love that. I like what they did with that. It's a pretty good idea. Because there's many different ways you can visually show a trailer, right? There's, a, there, there's many different camera angles and things that you can do. <clears throat> and then having that kind of creative choice was really well done, I think. Pretty cool. It gives a unique angle. You don't see a lot of angles like that. See like this, him looking at the eyeball as she's holding it in front of his face. And then see that the fingers kind of coming over the lens, it readjusting. That's what they were showing there. You know, having all these flashbacks, it, it shows that he's had multiple lives. And it, and I think that's what they're referring to through a lot of this stuff is that Revenant's, you know, died, come back, died, come back, died. He's been reborn many, many, many times. Um, so they're showing that off and I don't know what they're going to do with that as far as like the future of Revenant and how his new abilities are going to be. I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll find out because they're showing like this thing, not being able to work in these, all these flashbacks. So, and currently it obviously works. So they're probably going to take this out would be my guess. And they're trying to let us know that, you know what I mean? Like as developers, um, <clears throat> One thing that I really, really liked is, uh, here, let me fast forward just a tad. Right here is like this eyeball coming back to life after he like freaks out and gets all disconjointed. Is this little spot here where they like show the eyeball kind of short circuiting and coming like alive right here. This is cool. This is just kind of showing that he's going to be reborn and he's going to bring back into something new, right? <clears throat> and they faked me out with this face. Like, I don't know what this is. He just looks like a standard male head. You know, so I don't know what, what the kind of, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is what he used to look like in the very beginning and they're saving that. I'm not sure. There's so many unsolved things with this, with this character that are yet to be kind of determined. Like that little flash right there that, that shows like the half face. That's why I was, you know, thinking that maybe it's him in the past. Look at these clips. These are so cool. These zoom in clips. Love it. Pretty cool stuff. He doesn't know what's happening. I wouldn't know what's happening to myself either if I was him. This is really cool. The backstory and what they're doing here. I cannot wait to kind of play the new Revenant and how he is and kind of see what his new abilities are going to be, right? You're probably going to be able to sneak up on people like this and teleport. That's what I've heard. So let me know in the comments what you think he's going to be able to be able to do throughout all of this because it's just going to be so awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what buttons to press down below. Also, I have a second channel where I play um, Apex with a bunch of people and, you know, go live and stream. If you're into streaming and want to play some games, hop in there. I'd love to have you. I'll leave it here on the side. And I appreciate all your time and support.